ในการเดินไต่เชือกเส้นเดียวแบบไม่มีอุปกรณ์ช่วยในใจกลางกรุงเทพมหานครครั้งนี้นับเป็นอีกหนึ่งความท้าทายของแอนดี้ลูวิสที่มุ่งมั่นจะทำให้สำเร็จแม้ว่าจะต้องลวนจากเชือกนับครั้งไม่ถ้วนก็ตาม Now your highline in Thailand very long distance pretty long and very high as well why do you pick Thailand um, I actually was given this opportunity I did not pick it uh, I got a phone call and uh, they said hey we've got the biggest scariest line ever would you like to walk it and I said not really that sounds really scary and I don't think I can do it and they said well that's the point We don't want you to be able to walk it. We want you outside of your comfort zone. And I said, "Well, I'm definitely outside of my comfort zone." They're like, "That's perfect. Do you want to come over now?" And I was like, "Sure. That sounds great. If you know that I can't walk it, and I'm being honest with you right now, I've never seen a line or touched a line this big before." And they're like, "That's not the point. We want you to come out here and try." And I said, "Well, that's beautiful. It's a good idea. It's a beautiful thought to just try, to just get out there, push yourself, be active, be emotionally engaged in it." And, and For the walk in Bangkok, what are your biggest worries? Um, my biggest worry is basically fear. <laughs> I'm so afraid of going out there and being in the middle of the line. It's completely fabricated. Like I said, I shouldn't be afraid, but I am. I have a leash. I, I shouldn't die. But I feel like I'm going to. You take up new challenges all the time. How did you push yourself to be out of your own comfort zone? Um, I wouldn't say it's pushing yourself. I would say it's it's opening up yourself to new ideas, to new concepts. It's just like trying a new food. You don't know it. You don't know how it tastes. People say it's good, but it really comes down to just being like, okay, I'll do it. You don't have to push yourself. You just have to open yourself up. It's about letting go. Rather than forcing something new, you, it's about just letting it be, and and sometimes that's very hard for people to to accept the unknown and to just let themselves experience something. เมื่อปี2012 Andy Lewis กลายเป็นที่รู้จักทั่วโลกเมื่อเขาได้ร่วมแสดงกับมาดอนนาในงานโชว์พักครึ่งการแสดงแข่งขันซูเปอร์โบว์ของกีฬาอเมริกันฟุตบอล Back in 2012 you yeah. performed with Madonna on stage I did the halftime Super Bowl I how did. was that like It was great and um, a lot of people were like hey I could have done the show that you did and and That might be true, you know. The, the, the actual slackline show I did was very easy, but the the ability to create that costume, to create the philosophical idea that I was a king and that Madonna was Cleopatra and my queen, which I thought, hey, if you're Cleopatra, I want to be Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, the the Super Bowl was kind of my my touchdown dance. I had worked so hard. I had done so many lines. I had created so many tricks. I'd won so many contests that the slackline world had given me the ability to be the face of slacklining. Mm. So it, it wasn't me. It was it was the community that let me be in that in that place. All the skills that you have, your stamina, your mental strength. How do you use all of these skills in daily life in overcoming some obstacles in life? Um, well, like I slack life. You keep it slack. You you uh, you don't cause too much movement in your life. You, if you cause a lot of movement and you cause a lot of shifting and 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 problems, then you're going to get that back. That energy is going to come back to you in the exact same way that you put it out. So if you keep calm, you keep steady, you keep a center line, you focus on the moment. All of these metaphors come directly out of learning how to walk slack lines. And when I add that to my life, and I use those metaphors in life, I find that it takes me a lot of places. That it brings me a lot of opportunities. You have been very successful. You have won many titles. What is your ultimate goal? Is there anything left that you you want? You want to cry for? Oh, tons of things. I've got a list of projects that I'm just dying to do. But my ultimate goal now is to take all of the skills that I've learned and to learn how to film them in a way that I can portray. What I do to the public, and that's what we're trying to do now, is film these things to actually show people how intense, how fun, 
how crazy this stuff really is. And that's, that's my new goal, is not just to do a show, not just to complete a task, not just to do a stunt, but to film it. ดูคุณแอนดี้ลูวิสแล้วก็หวังว่าท่านผู้ชมจะได้รับแรงบันดาลใจในการที่จะกล้าลองทำอะไรใหม่ๆกล้าที่จะเดินออกจากกรอบเดิมๆที่ตัวเองเคยชินนะคะเพราะว่าอย่างคุณแอนดี้เองก็บอกว่ามาเมืองไทยครั้งนี้ก็ไม่รู้เหมือนกันว่าจะเดินได้สำเร็จหรือเปล่าแต่ว่าสิ่งที่สำคัญที่สุดก็คือว่าอย่างน้อยต้องได้ลองทำค่ะเพราะฉะนั้นต้องลองนะคะแล้วคุณผู้ชมก็อาจจะรู้แล้วค่ะว่าตัวเองนั้นได้พบกับประสบการณ์ใหม่โอกาสใหม่หรือว่าค้นพบว่าจริงๆแล้วตัวเองมีศักยภาพอะไรบางอย่างที่ไม่เคยรู้มาก่อนก็ได้ค่ะพบกันใหม่สัปดาห์หน้าวันนี้สวัสดีค่ะ